Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel and welcome to day 6 of the Pinina sticker pack opening series and today we're going to add one more player to our football manager squad. Uh, we have five. Last episode we added, who did we even add? Pepe to our team, the Portuguese defender and he is now alongside Rafael Varane in that squad. We are going to get more centre backs, probably four maybe, I'm not quite sure. But uh, today we're going to open two more packs and see who we get this time around. I didn't realise quite how many duplicates we had yesterday. Um, out of 10 stickers, 4 of them were swaps. I didn't even realise that some of them we already had. So for example, um, Jimmy Durham as the Swede was a, a swap. Haddadi the Tunisian was a swap. Sochi was a swap. And uh, the other one was at Milivojevic. So uh, yeah, 4 trades in that uh, one pack opening day. And uh, as always, the swaps are in the description. So if you are interested in any of them, let me know. Uh, but two more packs today. Here's number one, let's open it and let's see who is going to be uh, the options today. Uh, and oh, we've got a German. We've got a German and it's a very good German. It's Mats Hummels. So that is a very good sticker. I like that. Um, it would be our second German, which means that we wouldn't be able to pick any more German players. And I've just dropped it on the floor. But uh, yeah, that would be our, our second and final German, meaning that... The German attackers, like the forwards, like Werner, like um, who else do they have? Like uh, Müller, we wouldn't be able to get him. So uh, it would be a gamble picking my second German player already. Uh, we have a Moroccan that plays from Malaga. It's Yusef N. Nisiri. We've got our first Japanese player, I think, Genki Haraguchi. There's a Japanese player. Plays for Fortuna Dusseldorf in Germany. Okay, right. I know who I'm picking. We just got Antoine Griezmann. There we go. Antoine Griezmann uh, would be our second French player. But he's the striker that I want. Uh, and what, what a pack this is. The fourth, fifth and final player is even Rakitic. Croatian. Um, I really like Rakitic. I think he's a tremendous player. That is an amazing pack. We've got Hummels, Griezmann and Rakitic in that one sticker pack. That's pretty darn good. And no swaps. I'm happy with that. So the issue with picking Griezmann or Hummels is that we already have one French player and one German player. We wouldn't be able to get any more. So that would mean if we went Griezmann, no Pogba, no Martial, no Mbappe. So it's a big gamble to go for that. Likewise with Hummels, you'd be missing out on loads of other German players. But we do have one more pack to open today, and who knows, we could get an even better play. We haven't had a Brazilian yet, so we could get a Brazilian. Let's see who's here. Um, and we start off with a Portuguese player. We got Pepe last time and picked him. We bought, we got this time, Joel Mario, who has recently signed for West Ham this January. That's not bad. Uh, I believe this guy's a duplicate. This is Salif Sane. Um... So he, I think he's a dupe. I think we got him in the very first first video. Uh, we've got a Swiss player from Wolfsburg. That is uh, Admir Mamedi. We've got ourselves a Belgian. And it's Michi Batshuayi. Of course, on loan uh, Dortmund from Chelsea. Batman. Oh my god. Okay, we've just got some of the best players in the world in this day. Sergio Aguero. I just packed Aguero. That is, uh, in those two packs, we've got probably four incredible players there. Sergio Aguero, Antoine Griezmann, Rakitic and Hummels. That's that's a pretty darn amazing day. Oh god, who do you choose there? I've got four to choose from. Hummels, Rakitic, Griezmann and Aguero. And there's good reasons for choosing out uh, any of them, but also, also there's cons. So if I were to pick Aguero... Uh, that's one Argentine player, and it's a pretty darn good striker. Um, we would be able to get a second Argentine. It would be our first Argentine player. He'd be much better than having Backer. Um, you know, and we could still, if we wanted to get him, if we were able to get Messi or get another brilliant Argentine player. But Aguero is definitely a good option. Uh, we could go Rakitic. You know, he's a very good midfielder. Um, let's have a look at him on game. I mean, whether Tielemans will be one of our starting midfielders or not, I don't know. Because he's pretty darn good. Let's compare him with Rakitic and have a look at how they both are. So, uh, 
Rakitic is much better technically, it seems. There's a few bits that Telemans is better in, but Rakitic is a much better player. So we could upgrade on Telemans. I think with Pepe and Varane, we've already got a very solid defensive pairing. And having Hummel, that would just be ridiculous. Uh, but Griezmann is just... Oh. Is Griezmann or Aguero? And I'm going to go Aguero just because of the fact that we don't have an Argentine yet. So uh, we're going to go with Sergio Aguero. I swear you'll never see a pack opening like this ever again. That, that was actually genuinely an amazing pack opening. Um, two packs. I got four of the best players in the world. I mean, I just did, didn't I? Um, Hummel's one of the best defenders in the world. Aguero. You know, Rakitic is a very good midfielder. He's amazing. And Griezmann, one of the best strikers in the world as well. So that is a really good day. I'm very happy with that. So uh, I'm going to choose Sergio Aguero. You know, let's have a look at him in the game. 17 dribbling, 17 finishing, 17 first touch, 15 passing, 18 technique. Uh, agility, 19. Acceleration, balance. He's just amazing. Let's look at Griezmann and let's compare the two. Uh, Aguero's best role is Trekatista, but he can play very well as a complete forward or an advanced forward. As for Griezmann... He is, you know, very much the same, but his best role is actually on the left as an inside forward. So, you know, he would be brilliant at a front three. Griezmann would be absolutely amazing on the left of a front three. But we're going to go with a central striker and it's going to be Sergio Aguero. And I'm very happy with that. That was a really good session. Really good pack opening session with two packs. Um, I do need to get another box actually because I'm now down to just three packs, meaning that this weekend I will have to go out and buy some more. So... Uh, I'll do that, and uh, tomorrow, two more packs, uh, but down this, we're up, up to six players now. And that was a pack opening with all players as well, there were no badges, no squads, no stadiums, that was all players. So at the moment it's a South American duo up top of Baca and Aguero, but we are going to play with a front three, so Baca will very much be um, at the moment on the subs bench, because Aguero is playing every game. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. Leave comments if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube. Do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in tomorrow's pack opening. It's going to be difficult to beat that. We've got some very good players in those two packs. So uh, tomorrow, it's going to be interesting. I think we need to start looking at full backs. Because, you know, the spine of the team is looking very strong. But um, we haven't got any width yet. Literally, we've got a centre-back, two centre-backs, a central midfielder, two strikers and a goalkeeper. We've got nothing out wide. So four backs and wingers are going to be what we look for, I guess, over the weekend. We'll see who we pick up. That's going to be what I aim for. So hopefully, if we don't get a four back in our, in our stickers, if we get a nation or a squad or something, we'll be able to go out and, and look specifically for a full back. That's going to be the plan. But that's tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching this one. I will see you then. Goodbye.